The next speaker is uh, Niamomir Sarvitsky, and he's going to talk about a family of separability criteria. Yes, uh, I had no better idea for the title, so uh, please excuse me. I uh, think uh, I want to thank the organizers. The conference is very nice. Yes, it is something new for us uh, to take part in uh, such a conferences, but I think the things are going well. Uh, maybe the conference in Torun will be uh, done in the same manner, so I also learned something. Okay, so let, let us switch. It is, um, it is a joint work uh, with uh, Dario Szuszczynski and Giovanni Scala. Uh, Giovanni Scala, uh, he defended his PhD in Bari. Now, uh, he, I think he, um, uh, he is in a support in the National Center of Quantum Information. Um, and okay, uh, let me proceed. Uh, so I will uh, say something about uh, two known uh, entanglement criteria, so alignment criterion and uh, division criterion. Yes, it's nice that this is uh, my chairman uh, today. And uh, this took, uh, I will unify this uh, two criteria and uh, also show that it unifies uh, a few more criteria known in the literature. Uh, and then, uh, uh, so uh, some implications and go to multipartite case. So, okay. Let me focus first on a uh, bipartite bipartite systems. Yes. Uh, so uh, uh, I will consider a mm, uh, mixed uh, in in general mixed uh, bipartite uh, state. Uh, and uh, okay, let me fix in the spaces of operators in the first and the second Hilbert space, uh, orthonormal basis. Let me denote it by F A and uh, F alpha and G, G beta. Yes, and now uh, what is the correlation tensor? Correlation tensor, yes, is a, it is a tensor uh, which has in this given basis uh, matrix entries uh, like this, so I decompose the matrix row in a product, in a product, in a product basis, and the entries of this matrix uh, form this correlation tensor. Okay, and now a very very simple proof or alignment criterion. Yes, uh, first let me consider a product matrix row. Yes, uh, if I put here in this formula a product matrix, yes, I will get the uh, or oh, F alpha and the G beta should be here. Yes, I will get the product of uh, product of something depend on the alpha and of something depend on beta. Yes, so this matrix will be of rank one. Yes, and such matrix has its trace norm equal to uh, equal to norms of uh, this uh, one dimensional one dimensional. Uh, uh, tensors creating it, yes, and uh, in uh, in particular, if row one and row two are uh, just uh, pure states, yes, then its hilbert schmidt norms are one, yes. So this product has to be less or equal than one. And now to do uh, due to triangle inequality of the norm, yes, the same happens. The same happens for any separable state, yes, and that's. Uh, how we get the alignment criterion that if rho is separable, then uh, correlation uh, trace norm of correlation matrix has to be less or equal one. Okay, so uh, let me uh, let me show a nice uh, property of a trace norm. Trace norm uh, can be interpreted as a supremum over over some O's. Yes, of uh, a Hilbert Schmidt product of uh, of the argument of norm and this O. What is O? If a dimension are equal, O is just a ortho orthogonal matrix. But if uh, the dimensions are not equal, it is isometric matrix. This isometric matrix can be constructed from uh, this uh, both matrix sandwiching diagonal matrix in singular value decomposition. So this is this O which realizes the supremum. 
Yes, and because we have this, we can reformulate the alignment criterion, yes? So this is, uh, this is a trace norm, yes? So this is the supremum of this, and it has to be less or equal than one. One is a trace of rho, yes? So uh, we can put into one trace, and we see that uh, trace of rho multiplied by such operator is greater or equal than zero. So such, such operator uh, is a... Uh, uh, entanglement weakness, maybe trivial for some ch uh, choices of O, but uh, entanglement weakness. And uh, the alignment criterion is equivalent um, to a family of entanglement weaknesses. This is this, this, is this important observation here. Mm. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me switch now to the Vincente criterion. Uh, okay, if we change this orthonormal basis, F alpha and G beta, uh, to other orthonormal basis, then uh, this matrix C rho, yes, just uh, becomes uh, sandwiched by two orthonormal matrices. And it, this, uh, of course, does not change its uh, trace norm. So, because of that, let me fix uh, to some special orthonormal basis such that first element of them is normalized identity of a proper dimension. So, of course, the rest of elements has to be traceless. Yes. Uh, and then uh, structure, structure of uh, zero is uh, like this. This is uh, one or uh, because uh, we have normalized, normalized uh, identities here. Uh, rho has uh, trace one. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this element of C rho then is always fixed. Here, the rest of first row and the rest of first columns are respectively uh, block vectors of uh, partial traces. You know, how we define the block vectors, it's maybe up to, uh, up to a factor, yes, but it's propor proportional to block vectors of partial traces. And here we have uh, we have a block of uh, correlation tensor. Uh, it's uh, let's say traceless part. And now, yes, if we consider a row a product state, then this matrix has uh, rank one. It means that this C tilde has to be has to be of this form. R1, R2 uh, transposed, and then its trace norm is equal to uh, just uh, Euclidean nodes of R1 and R2. And of course, it's, it's a simple, uh, what is R1, what is R2? Block vectors, yes? They connect, they connect, a, uh, they connect maximally mixed state and a given state. So it is a simple, uh, simple exercise, yes, to check that uh, the maximal pos possible length is realized for pure states. It's equal to uh, d1 minus 1 over d1 and d2 minus 1 over d2, respectively. Yes, and that's how we get the Vincente criterion, that if it's separable, separable, then uh, we have uh, such bound for, uh, for a trace norm of this traceless part of correlation tensor. And of course, and of course, also we have, uh, oh, yeah, well, well, well. also we have here, uh, uh, we can uh, describe it uh, by, a, we can describe it by a family of entanglement witnesses, but parameterized by uh, this uh, isometry matrices let's say yes, but uh, which has here one and here zero zeros, yes, so acting only in this traceless part. Okay. And, uh, okay, any witness is via uh, Jamilkowski, Jamilkowski isomorphism related to, related to a, a, a positive, but not completely positive map. And, uh, such maps were considered by Professor Kosakowski, yes, so uh, we call them uh, Kosakowski maps. Uh, it is shrink and rotate, yes, so uh, we take a block vector of a state, we shrink it by a proper factor, and then we rotate. So um, what is this proper factor? Uh, 
if this uh, light gray triangle is a set of all uh, is a set of all sta uh, states, then we then this is uh, the then the radius of uh, circumscribed ball. Yes, it's uh, equal square root of d minus one over d. This is the same d minus one over d which we have here in uh, the Vincenti criterion. Uh, the uh, radius of inscribed ball is uh, one is this yes and uh, if uh, of course if d is equal to uh, these two uh, radi uh, radi uh, coincide yes because for a qubit we have just a ball so inscribed ball and circumscribed ball coincide Yes, in higher dimensions, they of course does not coincide. And uh, to uh, to be sure that after rotation, we uh, will be still any point of uh, image still will be positive. Yes, it's enough to uh, shrink by a factor. Yes, uh, of uh, ratio of this to ready. Yes. Okay, so uh, this is this ratio is one over d minus one. For qubit, this is just one. We do not have to scale. For higher dimensions, we have to scale. Yes, and uh, this is this this is this map. Yes, and this family of maps of type shrink and rotate. Yes, if we check positivity positivity of such maps. Yes, or positivity of expected value of witnesses related to such maps. Yes, this whole family is equivalent to the Vincente criterion. Okay, so we have two quite similar criteria, and now we will unify it. Yes, so uh, for this uh, orthonormal basis in the space of operators of a special type. Yes, uh, we have. Uh, the, we have such form of correlation tensor and we will uh, multiply it by diagonal matrices yes so we will rescale first row and the first column okay let us see so now so now if we check what is the what is the trace norm for a again yes the the same strategy first for product state yes so it is uh, uh, so for a product state is equal to uh, it's equal to product of Euclidean norms yes and uh, these Euclidean no norms are the uh, are maximized for pure states yes so uh, and then we have a formula yes for lengths of block of block vectors yes is d1 minus one over d1 yes as before yes and this is the result okay so such modified uh, correlation tensor its trace norm yes is bounded from above by by this number yes by the product of these two square roots yes okay so we get the family uh, parameterized but by x and y of of criteria Yes, this is our unified criterion. It has to hold for all, all x and y. And if we take x and y equals zero, yes, so we just uh, get rid of uh, first column and first row, we get the De Vincente criterion. In case we take x and y equal one, yes, so we take, so it is unchanged, yes, we get an alignment criterion. And uh, in fact, motivation for this work was a very beautiful criterion which uses uh, sig POVNs. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, it uh, it's from uh, 2018 from uh, Otfried Gune and collaborators, uh, and then it is equivalent to take in this criterion x and y equal to, and it is nice because. Uh, when we try to do something, yes, we realize that we do not have to have sick POVMs, in fact, and or uh, worry if in the dimension it exists or not exists. We, we could uh, uh, recover the data for this criterion, yes, just from just from correlation tensor. Yes, so we recover this very nice, very nice criterion 
uh, which originates from SIGPO VMs, yes, but we can see that no SIGPO VMs are necessary here. Yes, and also we find a, a criterion from maybe 2014 uh, of some Chinese people, yes, and this is all, also a special case of this criterion for X and Y of with such values chosen. Okay, so there are at least four criteria known from literature, yes, and uh, and uh, okay, uh, they are just special case of something more general. Of course, then we can ask, yes, uh, what is the optimal value of X and Y, yes? Uh, if for all X and Y it has to be fulfilled, maybe uh, a value of X and Y is the best uh, at least for a state. Yes, you have a state fix, you can ask which X and Y will detect it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here uh, we, uh, it is from a publication. Yes, uh, we just, uh, uh, we created an example such that uh, no uh, of the known criteria can detect an entanglement of the state, but this detecting area, yes, so the set of X and Y, which uh, already detects entanglement, is somewhere here. Yes, so this is this uh, function of left-hand side or left-hand side minus one, let's say, yes. Here it is uh, uh, so in the opposite way, one minus left-hand side. So here uh, the criterion is satisfied, but here it's not satisfied, yes, and here with these values of x and y we detect. And uh, we also, uh, our recent, uh, recent paper is just an illustration. We use uh, uh, generalized isotropic states, uh, generalized iso isotropic states, and here, uh, and here um, it looks uh, a little bit different than in generic case, yes, it is, here is a, here we have minimum uh, along this line, okay. Okay, so, uh, so, okay, so uh, let me address this question. Yes, what is the optimal X and Y? We realize uh, there is a, a so-called enhanced alignment criterion. So it is we uh, take a, a trace uh, norm of correlation tensor of a matrix rho, but minus a tensor product of uh, partial traces. And it has to be uh, less or equal than, uh, than this uh, right-hand side. Yes, rho one and rho two are just partial traces. Uh, Interestingly, yes, e, this uh, criterion is equivalent to family of, of witnesses we know from the standard alignment criterion, but with such, uh, such nonlinear correction, with a nonlinear correction. Mm -hmm. And it turns out that uh, mm, if we uh, consider the optimal X and Y in our criterion, yes, to detect the angle of the state, the, uh, our criterion coincides with an enhanced alignment criterion. Mm -hmm. So it is, uh, uh, it is detected by enhanced uh, entanglement of a state, is detected by enhanced alignment criterion, if and only if it is detected, if, the, if it is detected by uh, this unified criterion for uh, two values of X and Y. Okay, and uh, this result uh, then lets us to, it lets us to construct a linear witnesses, yes, if a state is detected by this criterion, yes. So this criterion is equivalent to family of nonlinear witnesses, yes, but if we uh, want to construct a linear witnesses, because this of this equivalence, yes, we can. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next step is a generalization of this criterion to multipartite case. So in multipartite case, correlation tensor is defined like this. Yes, we have uh, uh, n parties, so we have an orthonormal uh, basis. 
And uh, now we have to reformulate uh, the definition of uh, trace norm. So we know that the supremum over all, uh, over all isometry matrices. Yes, Hilbert Schmidt inner product with isometry matrix. So, uh, aha, here it should be already M, not M. So, but it is the same as we take the supremum over all, uh, all matrices M, but we divide by the supremum norm of matrix M. And now we can go to multidimensional matrices because for multidimensional matrix, we can define the supremum norm in such a way. Yes, so uh, in this way, we have defined the trace norm for uh, multidimensional matrices. Yes, and then we can reformulate our criterion. Of course, the question is uh, how efficiently we can calculate this trace norm. Yes, how to, uh, how to calculate uh, singular power decomposition uh, for uh, just uh, bipartite case. Yes. We know it, it's simple, yes, for multipartite case, it's not so trivial. Yes, so here are these questions. And now we take, uh, if we take a proper maximization, yes, over X1 to Xn, yes, we will get something like a multipartite generalization of uh, enhanced alignment criterion. And uh, uh, yet uh, I can mention that enhanced alignment criterion is like a first operation op, uh, operational uh, approximation of so-called covariance matrix criterion. And uh, then also we could compare a multipartite generalization of covariance matrix criterion and, uh, and this uh, multipartite generalization of uh, enhanced alignment uh, criterion. Yes, so here we have some open problems, yes. Uh, what about time? No one interrupts me yet. I think it's okay. Yeah, I think you have two more minutes. Yeah, you can finish your- two more minutes, session. okay, so perfect timing, yes. So now, of course, we, we can ask about effective algorithms, yes, how to calculate this uh, multi-dimensional trace norm, yes. Uh, now, uh, as, I, as I said, yes, enhanced alignment criterion and in relation to multiple particle covariance matrix criterion. Uh, now it's interesting taking into account local filterings. We know that using a De Vincente criterion, uh, but uh, followed uh, followed by uh, local filter taking no, taking uh, local filterings before using it, we can detect uh, any uh, two qubit entanglement. But uh, here, of course, we can try it. But now uh, we would like to ask if. Uh, we can uh, take this local filterings into account and uh, take it into one formula with uh, some special new norm. But uh, taking into account local filterings uh, in this setting is uh, quite hard. We know that it helps, but it's uh, uh, hard to uh, analyze it. Yes. Uh, what is also hard to realize it's a uh, relation to partial transposition criterion because uh, partial transposition is uh, something completely different. Yes. So if we uh, are able to, uh, in this big family of witnesses, recover all decomposable witnesses, yes, uh, it's, uh, it's also not a simple question. Yes, we can also ask about opt optimality of obtained witnesses. Yes, now there is a recent paper of uh, Maria Ivulescu. Uh, uh, they also consider and collaborators also consider the uh, uh, some tensor norms for multipartite case. We also uh, would like to figure out uh, uh, the relation be between our two uh, two approaches. Yes, it's also a very very recent paper. So okay, thank you for all uh, for your attention. Yes, uh, now. Uh, I would like to uh, ask chairman uh, to uh, read me uh, questions because uh, I haven't read and oh, this is the bibliography maybe you are interested in. Okay, thank you very much. <clears throat> Actually, there are quite some questions in the in the chat already. 
Uh, Otfried Gune asks, uh, what is known about the strength of the different criteria? Are they independent for any x, y, and x prime, y prime? Meaning that if x prime, y prime detects something that x, y does not. So how does the strength of your criteria depend on x and y? Yes, so this uh, this was our motivation. It was uh, it was the conjecture stated in uh, this Otfried's paper about this acid criterion, and uh, we had uh, no result about it. But uh, uh, like this question now becomes irrelevant because we can see that all these criteria are somehow uh, dominated by an Hass alignment criterion. We know that uh, we know that. Uh, in the limit, we have to take big, big x and y, yes, to get the to get the best detection. In the limit of big x and y, we get it. So, uh, but uh, to be sure that for two values uh, x y and x prime y prime that we uh, that one dominates the other one for all states, yes, uh, we do not know. But I think that the, in the recent paper by Maria. Uh, Ivulescu, I think they are able to prove uh, this uh, this uh, this conjecture. For uh, but if the dimensions of uh, subsystems are equal, I think so. It is uh, uh, their last paper for, from the end of uh, uh, 2020 on archive. I have a question in in this direction because in the in the plot you showed and if one compares to other criteria, it seems the best is always to choose x equals y. So, do you have an example of a state which uh, needs yes. x different from y to be yes. detected? Yes. So here uh, we considered as a toy model like generalized generalized isotropic states, so isotropic states, but not in equal dimensions. And here we can see that uh, the here the blue line is optimal, but the blue line does not coincide. OK, fact, this blue line uh, intersects somewhere x equal y. Mm -hmm. OK, so maybe, uh, but also there are optimal points which are uh, not on line x equal okay x. i see so maybe this is somehow connected to whether your systems have the same the subsystems have the same dimension or not right yes, because in this yes. case the, the subsystem dimension is different yes but okay we can say something weaker that but there exists a value of x equal y when this optimal line meets but here if we take i think the general uh, general uh, Situation state of this form in a very unequal dimensions. So maybe this detecting detecting area is far from the line x equal one. So I think maybe for unequal dimensions, it's not the truth. It's not true. Okay. Okay. Well, there are some more questions in the chat, but uh, I think we are uh, quite behind schedule. So so maybe we will we leave the discussion there in the chat and we can continue later. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, thanks again for the very nice talk.